Feel pretty good? Uh, Feeling good. Do this? That felt amazing. Days. It was awesome. Very unique. Had a blast. Crowd's awesome. I love my Boston home. It was great. Oh yeah. Here in Boston, instead of you know, having to travel. The nerves are over now. Yeah. Come out here, everybody. All eyes are on you. Go out there, have fun. Just put on a show, and it's a little nervous when you get in there, but then things just flow. That's the way the fight's gonna go. Can you, Obviously, can you feel like this week though, like building up to, to Saturday, that, that you're in a different mindset than if you were fighting in Vegas or oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. California or something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, it's so convenient right now because Boston, like I can just hop in my car, go down the street, see my family, come back to the hotel, train. The love has been crazy everywhere I go. Everybody just, good luck, good luck. Rooting for you, can't wait. Hometown guy, you know. Um, Davis is coming hostile territory and it's gonna be a hostile environment. Is it important to win after losing the PD Garden? I know it's a bang. Oh yeah. It means a lot for Boston people. Yeah, I got my, uh, my UFC debut four days notice two years ago at the Boston Garden. You know, I fought a week prior than that. I went in there, just did what I had to do. Hopefully I got another shot. Two years later, but um, UFC's come back to Boston. And, you know, I want to get that vengeance, get that W this time. So I've been training very, very hard for this fight, and uh, looking forward to it. There's so much focus on sort of the top two fights on this card, obviously, because they're yeah. huge title fights, heavyweight, yeah. heavyweight. I mean, is there? Do you view this as an opportunity? Is there additional pressure to perform, knowing that you know potentially the undercard is not going to talk about play this match? Um, no, it's not a huge drop. I don't feel like I have to go in there and prove anything just because there's a lot of more hype on the bigger guys. That's the way it should be. That's how they sell cards. Um, but I definitely think my fight's a sleeper fight. Um, performance of the night, um, bonus, fight of the night, whatever. So, yeah, it's, it's a sleeper fight and everybody should watch it. You know, with, with the Patriots playing and everything, is this, are you, are, this is a pretty exciting week yeah, for Boston yeah. sports. Why so, are you feeling that? Oh, I love the whole environment, just everything. New England, Patriots, ABC Championship, seven, seven years in a row. It just feeds everyone in New England, as fighters, trainer partners, everyone around here has a ship on their shoulder. And, Everybody can't wait for the AFC Championship game, and I can't either, so i got to get this this quick W and go home and get ready to watch it. Yep. Anything else? Can you talk a little bit about, uh, about the guy who fighting him? Were you able to go back and watch a bunch of his fights? And, I mean, did you see his contender series fight? I only watched one fight from uh, Brandon Davis. That was the contender series fight. I think he did exceptional. Um, he's a good performer. Comes out, throws. He's not afraid to back down. He's got a good chin. I just think I'm going to be too much for him. Um, my explosiveness, being light on my feet, Everything going in, mixing everything, takedowns, everything. I think I'm just going to be the better mixed box artist. I have more experience and I'm looking for on the show. I mean, how much does experience play into that? Because you, you've been in this position yeah. before making your debut and, and you saw how it Yeah, goes. exactly. Um, you know, I've got some experience in the octagon now. I've been in some crappy places, been in some good places. I um, went to drop, went back to the drawing board and all those performances. I think I've got a, a good amount of uh, support behind me. My head coach, Sean Clark. Um, you know, we're ready for anything right now, and I don't think Brandon ha has that yet. So there's levels, and you know, I had to go through them, and I'm still going through them. So, you know, this is an awesome opportunity for me to showcase my skill set. Want to give us picks uh, for the title fights on Saturday? No, no, we'll see what happens. <laughs> I can't predict on my fight, though. What's the pick on your fight? Knockout, second round. Second round, too. Yeah, yeah. Got it. Thank you, guys. Thank you.